Where are we? We're about four miles outside the centre of Dublin. Why have we come so far out? Because we're going to a very special pub owned by a special person. We're going to the Black Forge Inn and it's owned by Colin McGregor. A bit of a fighting man, UFC champion, very famous here in Ireland. Now, I've come here because one, he's got a fantastic reputation for food and number two, he brews his own beer. Had a couple of pints of Guinness last night, so I'm really looking forward to trying this stout. As always, let's give it a go. Come on, let's go. This is a little bit different. Coming to the pub, just waiting for the uh, restaurant to open. But as you come in, to the right hand side, you walk through, it's a bar area, beautiful bar, really nicely appointed. To the left hand side is a restaurant. It's a huge restaurant. It goes round and round and round. And then you come out here to this stunning outside area. Behind the cameraman, there's a bar there as well. And I've got myself one of these famous forged Irish stouts. The six euros is 4.2% ABV, which is exactly the same as Guinness. My first try of a forged Irish stout. Very creamy, look at it top, very creamy. Oh yes. Oh yes, it's not actually as heavy as Guinness. It's a little bit lighter. It is super creamy on top. Is that good? That's a good stout. Okay, I'll see you when we're going to the restaurant area. Here we are in the restaurant. Open plan kitchen behind me, so you can actually see all the chefs working. Again, we've got the area which I just uh, had me stout, just outside there. But as I say, it bends all the way around. Onto the menu. Have starters here, you can have soup, uh, hot sticky wings, uh, bayo buns, wild Irish salmon, or goat's curd and truffle. You know what I'm going to have? I'm going to have the hot and sticky wings, which is 14 euro. Haven't had them before on the channel. Um, now this uh, chicken wings, hot and sticky sauce, cashew blue cheese, cucumber and mint riata with maple, a pecan and chili. Always got to get me chili in, haven't I? On to the mains. I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to have. You know I love my lamb, so I'm going to have their Slaney Valley lamb. Uh, that's 32 euro, which is butter roasted salt marsh lamb rump. Uh, braised shank with fondue potato, uh, some carrots in there, uh, with a red wine reduction. You've got to have red wine reduction with, uh, with them, definitely. And a mint emulsion. I'm going to tell you, looking at the prices, that's uh, 32 euro. You've got to bear in mind, we are in a celebrity uh, restaurant, if you like. I think for Dublin, because Dublin is a very expensive town, I think that's actually very well priced. Got desserts on the back there. Listen, you take a look at the menu. I'm actually quite impressed. I'm very impressed with the prices, especially where we are. Just to let you know, the spring lamb comes with fondue potatoes. However, I'm feeling a little bit peckish today. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna order some spring onion mash as a side. Um, that's six euros as well. So yeah, see you when the hot wings or the chicken wings arrive. My hot and sticky chicken wings have arrived. No shortage on them. There's, there's loads there. Stick of celery there. What I do like is the fact they put the chili separate. So if you're not really mad about your heat, then it's not there and it's not saturated all over the wings. You've also got the cashew blue sauce and you've got some sesame seeds all over the hot wings. Let's try one. Oh yeah, I like actually the look at the sauce underneath. Chicken wings, 
Well, that chicken wing was tender, but what is there, and I want you to take a close up, is this sauce underneath. That is a fiery sauce. But you have the sweetness all coating around the chicken wing. So you have sweetness, then you have the, oh, here we go. But that chili sauce isn't mind blowing. It's not like, oh my good God, I can't eat them. How can I say, a marriage made in heaven. That works so good. Again, I like the, lips, the texture of the sesame seeds as well. You there and you've got a little crunch to them. So as I say, you've got the sweetness, then you've got the heat. I want to try it with the blue cheese, with the cashew blue cheese. Get a nice coating on there. Oh yeah. Now it's all going on. Because now you have the sweetness, then you have the heat, then you've got the creaminess of the, of the blue cheese. And, wow, that's taken all the heat almost out of the situation. What I do like as well, we provide loads of the wipes. So, again, makes it a lot less messy. Now, do I dare, <clears throat> do I dare? Oh no, this happened again. Let's dive in here again. To be avoided. Idiot. There's enough heat on this plate. You do not need to go near these bad boys. Nice amount of heat. That just elevates it just too high. Although, as I say, the blue cheese brings that all the way down. Are they good? They're very good. And again, I want you to see the portions. We've already had a couple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Not the biggest wings. However, you've got about 16 there. So all in all, what can you say? Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. My first time having wings on the channel. I've had wings loads of times in the past. But what I do like is the flavors. The sweetness, as I say, the heat, then the cheese, creaminess. All in all, that's well thought out. That's, um, they are good. Okay, I'm gonna dive in here. Um, see if the cameraman fancies one. See if the cameraman fancies a little nibble on the, the chili. No, I don't think he would. I'll see you when my lamb arrives. I like these. I like them a lot. It's arrived. So you've got the braised shank there. The lamb rump, as I spin it around, you've got fondue potato, you've got the uh, carrots on top, then this rich reduction, look at that. Wow. And then over here, that's all mint on top of another carrot. Then I have my potato with, mashed potato with uh, spring onion. Presentation, come on, that looks fantastic. It's a picture on the plate. Do you like it? The aromas are all there. Yeah, I'll tell you what seems to be the, the main star of that aroma is that red wine jus. That looks very rich, so I'm looking forward to it. First impressions of the lamb, I think that's been cooked perfectly. Nice bit of pinkness in there. So, but again, it's how tender. I want the lamb to be nice and sweet as well. Um, so, let's dive in. That is very tender. Now immediately, I'm gonna dive in here and have it with this red wine reduction. That reduction is clinging nicely, on the green stuff, clinging nicely to the lamb. Oh my Lord.
The lamb is tender. There's a sweetness, but it is not one of those overbearing lamb flavors. It's very subtle, but the red wine reduction, yes, that is rich and complements and works together with that lamb. Yes, absolutely. I'm a little bit blown away there because that quality and that cooking, yeah, that's top draw. That is really, really nice. I'll take a look here as well and see where they're on the fat, they've rendered the fat. So there's nice um, charring on there. So yeah, all in all. Now let's try this shank. I'm interested with this. I'm going to actually do a bit of carrot, everything. Let's have it, the whole. Yeah. That braised shank is, is, is just naughty. It's so tasty. But what is brilliant is the mint that goes with it. Obviously, lamb shank, mint is excellent. But take a look how tender, just how tender that lamb is. I'm gonna try it again. In fact, I wanna try a little bit again with this um, red wine reduction. There's a lot of flavors going on there because you've got the mint, you've got the red wine reduction, and obviously the lamb shank. Now I'm struggling. I'm going to tell you what the struggle is. I don't know which one's better. That is incredible cooking. And that is cooked incredibly well. I like them both. No, I don't like them both. I love them both. So come down here. Let's try the fondue potato. Many slight criticism. I'd like a little bit more potato. However, let's try a little combination. And I want to try a little bit of carrot as well. That's, that's a bit of a mouthful, but. Hmm, I've got to say, the combination of everything, there's a real sweetness with them carrots. So you have the richness there of the lamb. Then you have the gravy, which makes it even more rich the mint sauce, which has the combination of flavor, and the carrot, the sweetness, that. Uh, do you know something? That cooking, I'll pick that up in a second. That cooking is up there. That is exceptionally good cooking. I'm gonna try some of this. Nice healthy portion there. So, so light, fluffy, you've got the onion, seasoning is spot on. You've got the pepper in there and the salt. That needs no seasoning whatsoever. Nothing here needs seasoning. I'm actually looking at perfection on the plate. I'm absolutely mesmerized how good this is. I was gonna say the star it is all a star. That's it. I gotta say, whoever's in that kitchen is doing a tremendous job. Real cooking to a super high level. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking around the plate. I'm struggling to, to say anything apart from the, the, around the plate, that yellow is, um, is carrot puree. So all round, exquisite cooking, beautiful presentation, fantastic flavors, all in all, A1. Uh, again, on the lamb, one's very subtle in flavor the other one's really punchy so the shank comes in and that's a real punchy flavor but then you've got the delicate oh that lamb is so yeah right i don't want any of this to go cold i'm going to finish up and then i might have a dessert not too sure yet quite a lot of food here see you shortly that's good let's have more of this lamb look at that Guys, I'm going to disappoint you. I'm not going to get a dessert. I'm actually really full up. What I've done, got the bill, I've paid the bill. And I'm going to go back out into the beer garden. 
I'm gonna give my final thoughts. There was some incredible cooking there. You know, that lamb was so good. But I'll give my final thoughts outside. So what do I think of the Black Forge Inn? I'll tell you what I think. I think it's a beautiful pub. I think it's got a, a real traditional feel to it. I think it's perfectly laid out. I do like the restaurant area. I like the fact it's open plan kitchen. And in the restaurant area, if you want to actually just sit around the bar, you can sit around the bar and obviously in the bar area, loads of seats and you can sit around the bar there. Service. Again, we were just talking about the service. The service is excellent. Attention detail, very, very good very attentive not over the top not overbearing in any shape or form and i want to give a shout out to sharon sharon thank you very much for looking after us brilliant service the food the wings love the wings what was clever about them wings they were they were sweet then you had the, the heat then the the blue cheese that calmed it all down and all together brilliant flavors really like that the lamb now stop that presentation was top draw you know, I'm actually going to go and see the chef in a minute and just say thank you very much because I tell you, that was incredible presentation. The flavours, the shank, oh stop, the shank. Then the lamb itself, the lamb had a sweetness to it, nice subtle flavour. I like the rendering on, on the fat as well. That gave it a real richness. Altogether, the, the, the red wine jus, stop, that was phenomenally good and I'm telling you now as well the mint on top of the shank yeah yeah onto the bill for my cider champ it was six euros for the hot wings 14 euros and the Slaney Slain Valley lamb 32 euros so a total of 52 euros that's what about 44 pound 43 44 pound quality cooking there that was, in my mind, borderline Michelin-style cooking. Not the hot wings, but more so the lamb. That lamb dish was amongst the best I've ever had. You know how much I like my lamb. That was pure quality. That's up there quality-wise. Marks I'm gonna give it. Do you know what? I'll take my hat off to you, Colin. Colin McGregor, you have created a fantastic establishment here. Your staff are very attentive. Your kitchen staff, they're up there. I think you already know that anyhow, they're up there. I do love the pub. Would I make the journey out here again? A little bit of a trek out? Yeah. If you're ever in Dublin, you make the effort. You come here. Well, Marks, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. A real solid nine out of 10. Definitely come here just for that lamb. You don't need anything else. Maybe get the side of the champ to take so, but all together, quality on a plate. That was top quality. Now, as for the stout, it's worth coming here for the lamb and the stout. That was, love to hear your comments. Have you been to the Black Forge Inn? If you'd like and subscribe to the channel, you know I always appreciate that. And until next time, it's a bit of a knockout. Bye-bye.